excessive, extreme, and extra, all words to describe this relentless summer heat, especially here in Florida. This year is the fifth warmest year on record, and our pets feel it too, and the heat is burning their little paws. Joining us now is lifestyle expert and new Barker contributor Anastasia Turchetta with safe solutions to protect your dog's paws from burning or blistering. Welcome back to Bloom, Anastasia. It's always so great to see you. Hey, Gail. Thank you for having me back. And I know you are always the best when it comes to finding like cool gadgets for our pets. And what temperature places our dog's paws at risk? Because it is hot out there and you see people jogging with their dogs and... Yes, and that's a great question. And especially living in a, a hot zone or a hot bed, if you will, where we are in Florida. So the temperature is in between 76 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's really important to think about the ground temperature is actually hotter than the air temperature. Because a lot of times we look at it and we're like, oh, but that's not so bad. But when you think of like the floor and the ground, the mm -hmm. sun heats the earth from the ground up and it only takes 60 seconds for your dog's paw pads to burn on concrete or asphalt. Oh gosh, that's terrible. And there, I, we, we're talking about concrete and asphalt, but are there other surfaces that we need to be uh, careful of and watch out for? There are so many surfaces, it's things that we don't think about. So you'll see here, get, we've got Gibbs on the sand. We don't think mm -hmm. about sand, but sand gets hot on your dog's paw pads. So go early in the morning or late in the evening, artificial grass, something we don't think about, but the sun heats it up and that can burn your dog's paw pads. Metal bridges, brick walkways, tennis courts. If you're out hiking, it's just really important to pet the, to make sure you protect your dog's paw pads. You know, the paw pads have these cute little cushions, mm -hmm. but they provide balance, stability, traction, and they absorb shock for the dog's weight, meaning their bones and their joints. And is it true, or maybe I'm, I'm stepping outside our, our area of expertise here, but don't the dogs kind of like the temperature for the top, the, through their little pads on their paws? I mean, that's how they kind of regulate some of the heat and cool in their body. Exactly, you know, dogs don't really have a great system to cool off. So they do have sweat glands that help through their paw pads. And then of course, we all know that panting also helps, but you're right. So if the dog's paw pad is injured, it's really hard for them to help their body regulate temperature that's safe and healthy. Now, in some of that uh, video of Gibbs, who by the way, if you're just now joining <laughs> the bloom, you will know that Gibbs has the best life. He travels all over and he was wearing these cute little boots. Yes, <laughs> yes. So these are ways that you can um, help your, protect your dog's paw pads. Number one, these are socks. They're great for like, we live in downtown St. Pete. They're awesome for, for walking around on sidewalks. You saw hiking, uh, little hiking boots, or they're more of a booty, if you will. <laughs> that helps to protect also. Then there's balm, and the balm or wax, I prefer balm because it's almost like a moisturizer for the paw pad. Mm -hmm. You wanna make sure it's smooth. But before you even go out, check the heat index. It's so important. It's not just looking at our phone for the temperature, it's also scrolling down, and you know where it says it feels like? Mm -hmm. That's what you wanna look for, because you wanna make sure you're not walking your dog in heat to burn their paw pads. Um, maybe place them at risk for heat exhaustion or heat stroke. Um, if you do go out, even in the morning, sometimes it's really, really hot. It's like up to 80 degrees yes. in the beginning of the morning. You always say bring along some water. Absolutely, absolutely. It's really important to keep them hydrated. So we have to think ahead sometimes because it takes it takes us longer. We're like, well, we got our sneakers on, but dogs don't have sneakers. And, That's right. You know, we might have our own you know water bottle with us, but we need to provide for them. So they're like they are like children where you have to help them stay healthy and happy. Now, can you tell just by glancing? at looking at you know the pad of your dog's paw if it's been injured and you need to get seek medical care the dog will tell you so yes okay. if the dog's paw is burned you will see some of the paw pad actually burned off mm. yeah and it looks very it would look raw there's no other word to ex describe it otherwise your dog will lick their feet okay or they may walk unusual because the paw pads provide stability and balance they'll tell you they're hurting so it's best really to be about prevention and the only only way to do prevention is when pet parents, we can be on Paw Patrol. All right, Anastasia, it's always so great to see you. Thank you. All right, and I'll connect you with Anastasia on our website, wfla.com slash bloom.